Bonsoir, famille. Good afternoon, family. Moi, Gulle Bertrude. My name is Bertrude, and I am here to help you apprendre Creole Haitien. For today's video, we are going to be looking at definite articles. How we say the, like when we say the car or the foot in Haitian Creole. Um, and now, if you're a little bit familiar with Haitian Creole, you will see that we have these these um, words that a, la, la, un, la, na, and you might be wondering, when do I use the a, when do I use la, un, la, na, how do I use the definite article? This video is for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. You will use a as uh, the definite article article when you've got a word that ends in a non-nasal vowel. What does that mean? Basically, if it ends in a vowel that isn't en, o-n, a-n. Remember in the Haitian alphabet, we said en, on, un. Those are considered, considered nasal vowels for Haitians. So if it ends in a vowel, there's a very, very good chance that you're gonna be ending in A. Just make sure that it is a non-nasal vowel. Tableau, the board. Pierre, the foot. Coa, the body. Café, the coffee. Let's move forward. Now, if we are ending our word in a consonant, which is not a vowel, the opposite of a, of a vowel, a consonant that has, that comes right after a non-nasal vowel. So essentially, it needs to be ending in a consonant in order for you to have la. Bibla, the Bible. Cobla, the money. Pizitla, the child. Tabla the table, you see? They're ending in consonants. And the, the letter right before it is a vowel, but it's a vowel that's non-nasal, that is not one of these. And so over, we see that with these two right here, we are dealing with words that are non-nasal. Now let's go ahead and move on over to this side of the board. Let's go ahead and deal with the nasal vowels. If you have a word that's ending in a nasal vowel, vowel again with eh, on, or un, you've, the, the definite article that you're gonna use, use is un. So, bon, ton, pain, jardin, we see that it, it, it's almost as if they're swallowed together um, and we're connecting the non-nasal vowel with another non-nasal vowel, which the only non-nasal vowel, which is a definite article, will be un. We see that. Let's move forward, because we're dealing with now the nasal vowel un. If you have a word that ends in a consonant, which is right after a nasal vowel, you would use lung. Let me go ahead and show you how that looks. So we've got sun, lung, the odor, the smell. Sun, it ends right here in a consonant. But the reason why I'm not going to say, hey, let's use sun, la. The reason why it's not that is because look right before. The word right before is the, I'm sorry, the, the, the thing that's right before is a non, it's a nasal vowel. A-N, sunt lun, okay? Point lun, the point. We see it ends with a consonant and then it's a nasal vowel. Like it's a nasal vowel, then a consonant. Camp lun, the camp. We see that there's a nasal vowel that's followed by a consonant. Conscience, l'un, the conscience. Look, it has a nasal vowel that's followed by a consonant. So these two 
are essentially related. And you could see that they're almost related because un, l'un, you're just putting in a constant, you're just putting in l. Now, I'm gonna get to these two notes that I have, but even before I get to that, the final definite article that we have is n. And for n, you just put n after a word that ends with an N or an M. Very simple. Even though it is technically a consonant, consonant, you still use N if it ends with the letter N. K-N, the cane. fum -na, the woman. machine -n, the car. shum -n, the room. Again, if it ends with an M or an N, you go ahead and put N. So overall, we're seeing that there are essentially three different camps that we have. We're dealing with consonants and um, the non-nasal vowels. Then we have consonants and the nasal vowels. And then we have M and N. M and N, you just put N. Now, the only note that I have for you is that if you have a word that ends with an I or an O-U, like fummy or tambu, family or drum, fummy, tambu, then you would also use un. Or if you have a word that ends with I-T or I-Y, you would use la. The reason why I put these really low is because for the most part, most of the Haitian um, vocabulary doesn't end with the I or the O-U or the I-T or the I-Y. Most of them really, you're just looking at words that end with uh, non-nasal or nasal vowels or a consonant or an M and an N. So if you can grasp this, you have grasped one of the foundational concept of Haitian Creole and it's very, very easy. I can almost guarantee you, if you take maybe two hours, sit down and really start practicing and, and looking at the definite articles throughout different words, you'll see how easy this is and how much it makes sense. I hope that this helps you. If you've got any questions, let me know.